Hello everybody. So today what we're going to try to do is find an alternative for sealing 880 style air gun barrels from Daisy. Uh, usually what we do when we're installing a new barrel on a uh, receiver is we'll insert the barrel, seat it uh, as good as we can there, just pushing it in until it's fully seated. Then we'll run a bead of JB Weld around the receiver and barrel interface. So I tried uh, using a Luma Weld to fill the piston dimple in new 880 pistons. And what I found out was uh, the temperature at which the Luma Weld melted also melted the piston. So that didn't really work too well. So what we're going to do today is we've got uh, some solder rods here from Muggy Weld. They're the Super Alloy 1. They've got a melting temp at uh, 350 degrees. It comes with this uh, flux. So what I'm hoping is is that we can heat this receiver up to 350 degrees to melt the brazing rod and seal the barrel using the, mu the Muggy Weld brazing rod which should give us a more professional, cleaner, and better seal than hopefully JB Weld. And as long as the receiver can hold up to that temperature, it'll be something that's also reversible. So you would just reheat the interface to 350 degrees and be able to pull the barrel out of the receiver. Uh, but when doing this, mind uh, which end of the barrel you insert. So one end will be chamfered for the barrel crown and one end will usually be cut flush so we want to make sure that we insert the barrel in the right way so that we're not inserting the crown in into the receiver so in just a second here i'm going to install the braze or excuse me the flux material onto the valve body barrel interface and supposedly you can use a heat gun we're going to find out Okay, so what I'm going to attempt to do is use a Q-tip to get some of this flux for this uh, Super Alloy 1 and apply it around our uh, barrel and valve body interface. I'm not exactly sure how much should be on there, but I'm going to assume you don't want to get too carried away with it. So. You want enough that uh, you can obviously see it around the interface there, but not so much that it's trying to run over the edges of your bar or receiver, the barrel interface, and so forth. So now that we've applied that on there, I don't know how long it's going to take to heat this up, but according to the instructions, you heat it until it turns like a caramel color, and then you can start the brazing. So I'm going to go ahead and heat this and. When it gets ready, we'll uh, bring you back. So I've been heating this just for less than a minute and the flux is starting to boil, but it hasn't really caramelized yet. So I don't know if we're quite there. Also, I've noticed the flux has uh, become a lot more fluid and actually started to run down into the barrel receiver interface. So I'm going to take just a second and try the brazing rod and see what happens. Nope. Not even close yet. Okay, so now what I'm doing is using a Q-tip dipped in the flux to work the melted brazing around the joint and that seems to be helping it flow and it's looking pretty nice.
Wow, that's looking really good. Okay. Now I'm just kind of wiping the, the braise, making sure we don't have any holes, pits. And y'all, that, that looks, ooh, that's so warm. Careful. And I did that with a heat gun, not a torch or anything. And it looks fantastic. And the good news is it did not melt our valve body. So yay. Okay, so we just finished brazing our barrel to our valve body using this uh, Muggy Weld Super Alloy 1. Uh, and the results look fantastic. I would say that that's going to be uh, far superior to uh, JB Weld. And it is reversible, so all we'd have to do is take a heat gun and heat up the valve body, kind of like we do when we're removing a valve body for the first time from a barrel. Heat it with a heat gun until you see the brazing material go liquid, then tap it with a rubber mallet and knock the valve body off the barrel. Of course, you'd want to clean all that back up before trying to reinsert a new barrel, but that is, uh, yes, that's probably the best, uh, barrel to valve body seal I've seen. I'm going to uh, give you guys a close up of the camera here in just a minute, but uh, wow. So a luma rod, wouldn't try it. Tried it on a piston, melted the piston for the luma rod, really went liquid. With this uh, Muggy Weld Super Alloy 1, it has a melting temperature low enough that it's, at least for this valve body, was safe. And meaning it did not come close to melting the valve body but we were able to raise the barrel to the valve body we look like we've got a really good uh, uh, joint here uh, I'm gonna step off camera in a second and go get my rubber mallet this is a oh a scrapped valve body it is a good barrel when I say a scrap valve body I meaning it was out of an older gun I really didn't have a use for it it should be functional, but now that I put a brand new barrel on here and brazed it, uh, it should be viable to install into another gun that needs a valve body barrel assembly. But in any case, uh, like I said, I'm gonna step off camera, try to go get my rubber ballot and see what how strong this uh, brazing is. And in any case, uh, I'll show you guys that. And then when we get done with that test, I'm gonna bring this over close to the camera and let you guys get a, a look. Now granted I did this while balancing it on my head <laughs> and uh, trying to do it on camera, which is definitely not optimal. If I was trying to do this for an actual gun that I was really uh, uh, concerned about, I would have had this mounted up in a vise where I had both hands free and, uh, and would have done a really clean job. Now this, this job looks pretty decent, but uh, that you're going to see there's uh, the the solder got a little on the valve body and it's not perfect because again i was balancing it on my head while trying to hold the the heat gun and the solder at the same time and and like i say that's uh doing it on film wasn't optimal but it still turned out very usable and much better than uh, the jb weld seal that uh, we're so used to using but with no further ado, I'm about to grab that hammer and we'll right, be right guys, back. guys, I told you all I was going to give you a close-up look at uh, this seal using the Super Alloy 1. Again, I apologize for the, the video here. I'm trying to hold this in front of the camera while standing behind the camera. Also... Uh, Again, this is a pretty sloppy job. It is my first time. And in addition to being my first time, I was trying to balance the barrel on my head while holding the heat gun and the JB, or excuse me, the alloy one uh, solder or brazing rod. And 
you know, if I wanted to try to get a really nice professional job on this, it would have been in a vice, uh, where I had both hands free and could have done a much cleaner job. So one note, when I did do this, I applied the uh, flux prior to the, uh, the solder rod, which they do recommend doing. And uh, when I did heat the valve body up, the flux ran down in the joint between the barrel and the valve body. So then once I started applying the flux, uh, it didn't flow great. So you may need to reapply flux after it flows down into the joint. But also another thing I did was once I started getting the brazing rod started melting around the joint, I took a Q-tip and I dipped it in the flux and basically painted or wiped the liquid brazing material around the joint and that worked really well so uh, while this may not be the prettiest job after doing just one I guarantee I could do a much cleaner much prettier looking job in the future and again if I had this in a vise where both hands were free and whatnot could have done a much better job also but a uh, bit of advice when you put the flux around the joint and you apply the heat it's going to run down into the joint you may need to take a q-tip dip it in your flux reapply some flux while and then go back and keep heating and then once it does it does turn a caramel color just like the uh, instructions say as soon as it turns that caramel color your flux rod will start to melt it may not turn 100 percent liquid it may get clay like or you know just chunky uh if you do wipe it on remove the rod, take a Q-tip, dip it, dip it in flux while applying heat, smear the braze around the joint until it flows. And once it flows in, you can pick up your brazing rod and continue. And doing so, you, you should be able to get a really good looking, uh, really strong bond and braze between your barrel and your valve body. All right, I'm back with the mallet and this thing is still well, I can bump my fingers on it. It's still way too hot to hold. Uh, in fact, it's uncomfortable to do more than just touch off on it around the valve body barrel interface, which if uh, we were going to remove a barrel from this valve body, that's about as hot as I would get it before attempting to knock the valve body off the barrel. So. Uh, needless to say, it's warm enough that I should be able to knock this valve body off this barrel if it was just, say, a factory press in. So we're going to see what it can do. I think I just knocked the chip out of the uh, mallet. And you can see I'm leaving rubber on the barrel where I'm striking it. So I'm, I'm hitting it with some pretty significant force. Oh yeah, that's on there guys. That is a, a way stronger seal than even the factory barrel that's when they're pressed in. So uh, I think we have a winner as far as uh, sealing barrels to valve bodies. Now this does come at a cost. So this kit I got from Muggy comes with uh, quite a few rods let's see there's two four six about seven of these rods which you know I barely used any of the one rod sealing this barrel so basically uh, when you order this kit it's like a it'll be basically a lifetime supply but it is a little bit pricey at 60 bucks so your uh, Luma weld rods that you would get say for instance at Harbor Freight well they're only 10 20 bucks or whatever the alloy uh, requires the temperature to be so hot that you're going to run a, a risk of damaging your valve body. This uh, Super Alloy 1 
It is designed to melt at 350 degrees, a much safer temperature for your valve body, which will allow you to braise your barrel to your valve body without damaging the valve body, but yet get a super fantastic seal, a much cleaner, much more professional seal than uh, using JB Weld, and a vastly superior seal, meaning much, much stronger. I have cracked and, and broken the seal on JB Welded sealed barrels to valve bodies but with this setup you're not going to uh, separate this without applying a significant amount of heat whether it be a heat gun propane torch what have you again i used the heat gun just to see if it was uh, possible and the heat gun was uh, absolutely adequate for making this seal and it didn't take a, a, a you know an annoying amount of time to heat that up to be able to make that seal so this is a fantastic option and I highly recommend it and I will absolutely be doing this to all my guns. So I uh, hope this is helpful to everybody and in any case, until next time, we'll see ya.